Let's explore the properties of a scrub daddy sponge. We'll take this scrub daddy and place it in water at 15 degrees Celsius, which is kind of cool. We'll take the scrub daddy out and place six pounds of weight on top. We notice that the sponge does not get compressed much at a low temperature. Let's repeat this experiment in this water over here, which is at 50 degrees Celsius, which is quite warm. We'll take the sponge out, and once again, we'll place six pounds of weight on top. Oh wow, that's, that's a big difference. We can see that the sponge gets compressed quite a bit at a higher temperature. Now what might be the science behind this difference? To gain some insight into what might account for the different properties of the sponge daddy at different temperatures, I looked up the patent filed by Aaron Krauss, the inventor of the scrub daddy. By reading the patent, I learned that a scrub daddy contains a type of polymer called a thermoplastic. A thermoplastic softens at high temperatures. I also learned that the specific thermoplastic contained in a scrub daddy is called polycaprolactone. I decided to purchase some polycaprolactone myself to study its properties. I'm going to place some beads of polycaprolactone into some water at 15 degrees Celsius and also into some water at about 70 degrees Celsius. I'm going to go ahead and stir each. Oh my, there's a, there's a big difference. In the water over here, I can see that the beads are remaining pretty much separate and fairly hard. Over here, we see that the beads are, well, they're conglomerating together. They're sticky. You can see that they're sticking together. They're also gaining a transparent appearance. I'll go ahead and take some of the polycaprolactone out of this beaker and you can see that I can mold it like a putty and that the appearance has become transparent. Now I'll go ahead and place the polycaprolactone putty into the cold water. After time when I take it out you can see the part that's been in the cold water is now hard and it's also an opaque white color, whereas the portion that's been in the hot water, that's still rubbery like putty. It is starting to harden up a little bit because it has been cooling. The presence of the white color comes from the formation of tiny particles called spherulites, and spherulites scatter light, causing the putty to have a white color. What's interesting about this is that it's reversible. If I place this now hard plastic in back into the hot water and let that set for a while, you can see that at the higher temperature, it will regain its soft putty-like characteristic. Now that the polycaprolactone has been in the hot water for a while, I'll take it out. And once you, again, you can see that it has the soft, putty-like characteristic. And these observations are consistent with what we saw with our scrub daddy, which was hard and rigid at cool temperatures, but soft and flexible at higher temperatures.